this phrase, render grateful service. Uh, my wife, Maria, who many of you know, she passed away a few years ago. We had a few sort of mantras in our life. And one of them was render grateful service. When we were dragging ourselves to work and we didn't want to go to the office or there was a chore that was difficult, this phrase would just come from one of us to the other one, and that was all we needed. Just remind ourselves that those who are too, are too good for this world are adorning some other, and just simply to see life in the spirit of giving, rather than the, experience, the spirit of thinking of oneself. And we can make any act sacred in our spirit of giving. We also had this, uh, it was her way of inspiring me to render grateful service, and I've shared this before, so some of you have heard this, but once a week we would have to clean the house, and my part of the job was to, part of it was to clean the kitchen and the bathroom and clean the toilets, and Maria saw that my motivation was not always really extreme, and often the morning of the evening when we were to do our chores, she would start acting like she was a child about to go to Disneyland with just breathless anticipation and excitement. And she would say, you know what we get to do tonight? You know what we're going to do? As if like she was going to go to Disneyland that night. And, and I would play along with a gag and say, what? What are we going to do? And she would say with breathless excitement, we get to clean the guru's ashram. And it was her way of saying that cleaning the toilets, cleaning the bathroom, even in your own home, it's a sacred act when it's entered into the spirit of grateful service to God. And we can make any one of our jobs, any one of our chores into the same when we do it with the spirit of giving. And you will find that when we enter into anything with the spirit of giving and self-offering, the little self becomes smaller, our problems become smaller, because we become absorbed into the greater self. 